Hey everyone, it's Nicole and Tanya. Good to see you. So this is the tutorial that we've been talking about for a while um, because Tanya knows how to do glue dots and I do not. <laughs> she loaded them when we were in Las Vegas for a meetup and I've been using them since, but also like I couldn't replace them. I kept trying and it was not working. <laughs> and I, I've kept like explaining how to do it, but it's not working. No. So I'm so gonna... I flew her here just so you could show us how to do glue dots, right? Like, oh, oh yeah, can... <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the whole reason why. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so All let's right. get into it. Okay, we're gonna start with what we need. You need your pens, whatever pens you're using. I'd rather use stainless steel when I'm using glue dots, but you can also use the original brass tips. Mm -hmm. Like this is this is the original brass tip. Come on, focus. Yeah. Okay. The original brass tip. So the metal ones work best. Uh, plastic ones don't hold the 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 glue dots like good enough they will fall out yeah they, so they like wear down too so like yeah. this is an example it like the plastic ones wear down really easily and they will wear down before you have to change your glue dot so mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense if it's yeah okay so i will show you how to load the different kind of pens and it won't be a very long video i don't want it to be like extremely long <laughs> just just, I'm going to show you a couple of things that I do that make it easy, mm -hmm. okay? So we will start with the regular brass tip. No, this is not the regular brass tip, mm -hmm. it's like shoved in. Oh, Are you a hard I've had that for Oh yeah, I'm a hard presser. Oh yeah, definitely a hard presser. <laughs> so you're a hard, yeah, I can see. <laughs> this is like, come on. Oh yeah, so this is like one that you work, oh. Yeah, Man, this I is really a new am. one. Look holy, at that. Holy crap, I had no idea. <laughs> okay alrighty then that one's from uh that was the gift and it's from oh man totally drawing a blank diane at bistro blanks bristol blanks yes so that was bistro, bistro blanks. blanks okay yeah. so that was a gift it has the cherry blossoms in memory of jamie's mom and then the blue, purple butterflies in memory of summer and that's got blue and purple on it it's yeah pretty. it's really pretty you need pliers or something no <laughs> i should be able to do this what did you do with your pants uh, i jammed it in what about this one okay this one's not as used yeah there that one okay good. try to get this up okay all right i'll try well it i make sure because this is step number one you will make sure that you don't have any kind of wax residue inside of your tip mm. like Must because be. if you have wax residue in, inside of your tip it will lead to you losing stickiness on the oh, okay. glue dot. It's yeah, going to gotcha. come out. So I think that one had wax in it. Yeah, but I already okay. checked. It doesn't it doesn't okay. seem to have anything in Okay. That one's a butterfly from the lady in Canada. Yeah, I pretty. know. This is pretty. Yeah. This is really mind. pretty. I'll be sure to include like the links to all of the pen turner shares so you guys can check out their small businesses. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what you will do when you have any kind of tip is you will choose the size of your glue dot. Mm -hmm. You may use the minis that are these ones. It's really hard to see. Yeah. I, I will I try to show. The tweezers. Wait, oh, there. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm going to try and oh, show. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There. Okay, so. Yeah, I think you can see it. Uh-oh. This is the size of the glue dot I'm trying yeah to. there yeah okay this is the size of the glue dot and this is the mini and I will show you how the micro looks like but this is the mini this is the one that I, I use and I find it easier to use because I only need one to load most of the pens mm. so but you can't use those in the cat aired ones right no they're, yeah they're like real small I I do have some cat eared like uh, tips, but I don't have many. I have this. I think this was a gift from Anna when mm -hmm. we were in Las Vegas. Yeah, this is a cat ear, but it's not branded. It's the oh uh, yeah, the first yeah, the first release. Yeah, it. yeah. Mm -hmm. Good that has that right there. And we have here a BFF. This mm -hmm. this like the tip is a little bit longer. Deeper. Yeah. So this will hold a whole glue dot. Uh, okay. So. 
when I'm using the, the glue dots, the mini glue dots, what I will do is to roll them with my thumb mm -hmm. to make a little like... Taco? Burrito. Yeah, a little taco. <laughs> <laughs> taco burrito. Uh, if, it, if, it's, if it comes out of the plastic, mm -hmm. it's okay. You will have like a little taco. Nice. Yeah, we can see it. Good. Okay, perfect. Good. And then I will take the glue dot and push it into the tip mm -hmm. and it will stick it out stick for it sure. Up. So when it's in, I will use the tip of my tweezers to shove it in. I will go like in the edge, um, on the edge, okay. and shove it. And only using one side of the tweezers? Only one side of the tweezers. I will use both uh -huh. later. Okay. And because the brass tips are not as um, deep, uh -huh. they will probably stick a little bit. Okay. So I'm learning with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> she tried to teach me once and it's not going well. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's in there. Uh -huh. It's, as you can filling see, it, it's yeah. filling out, falling out. Mm -hmm. And what I will do is try to shove it in and then okay this is the one who, who, that had the wax residue remember uh, yeah that's, that's why that. i say that it's probably best if you have like new whatever you use this one yeah no, i think that's, that's a, a better idea okay that this is what will happen if you have some there wax you residue perfect, in example. <laughs> perfect example i will try to reuse this glue dot so you can see if it's not working with one tip, you can always try to reuse the uh, see so have something to use. This is a Donna Bass pen. The, yeah, this is a Donna so Bass. Pretty. Look at that. And oh, it's, it's really so comfortable pretty. to use. Yeah. So and I I only like um uh, please help me describe what? the movement. <laughs> oh like pushing yeah. them in between, rolling them in your fingers? Yes, because okay. I'm trying to get off the the wax. wax. Okay. So Okay. And it doesn't mess with it by doing the like your fingers and oils and stuff, right? No, and it's it's also better because the glue dots are so sticky uh -huh. that if they are a little bit um, dirty, yeah, it will stick less and you will have less problems. Oh yeah, I've heard of people putting them on like their shirt or something. Yes, to try to like get some of the stickiness. Uh huh. Uh huh. I don't do that. I only use my fingertips. Okay. But yeah. I've heard a lot of people complaining that the glue dots will take the drills out of the painting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Instead <laughs> of laying them. <laughs> okay. So my problem is. So you can see that it's like overflowing. Mm -hmm. And what I will do when I have a little bit of overflow is I'll just take some scissors and cut the excess. Gotcha. Like so. You want a little bit of excess mm -hmm. because that will protect your drills. Okay. And if you use your your fingertips yeah. to make it a little bit dirty, mm -hmm. that is going to work. Okay. Great. So it's Perfect. loaded. And if you have problems, because some of the times, well, I am a hard presser too. So I can't believe how hard of a presser I was though. You're horrible with that. your drills. Let me see. What I will use, this is one of my favorites, oh, I yeah. will use the the, <laughs> the tray lid to kind of use the texture of the of the lid to cut without pressing too much because mm -hmm. that that will if you press too much it will scrape your your lid. Okay. And so what I will do is I will take the I will use the texture mm -hmm. on the top of the lid mm -hmm. to get rid of the excess. Okay. Now I just roll too much, but yeah, <laughs> I would, I would do that. Okay. Like so. Okay. Gotcha. Done. Now I will use an everlasting tip. Mm -hmm. This is the original everlasting tip. It's only the tip of the, the, well, only the, the, Ah, metal tip. Okay. But all the all the rest of the tip is going to be the original 
the, the ones that you get for free. Okay. You just change, change the, the tip. Oh, yeah. yeah, you just change it up. Mm -hmm. So, what I will do, and, okay, we will fix this later. I will do this the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. But these tips are a little bit deeper, mm -hmm. so they will take a glue dot, uh, a, a, a whole glue dot without having to cut any excess. Gotcha. Try it out. Let's see if we can hear the the Quick. clack. Yeah. There. Ah, mm. I love it. It's like the best sound if you've never heard it. <laughs> Anybody else hear the love hearing the glue dots pop? Let us know in the comments below if you get that pop. And if you don't get the pop, does that mean that like you need to use your uh, like fingers and the oil and stuff? No. Or... If you are not hearing the, the clicking of the of the tips, yeah, it's because it's not sticking correctly. Okay. So do you have to move it around then to try to get to like a stickier part? If you're getting still working, if so. you're if, if if it's still working, yeah, it doesn't gotcha. matter. Yeah. But if you if you lose if you lose stickiness, yeah. you can always change your glue dot. Okay. They are really cheap. Do you change the whole glue dot, or do you actually like move them around because like you have excess in there? Do you kind of like shift? You it? can you can take it out. Yeah. Like and turn, it turn it around, around. And, yeah. and stick it in. Do it again. Okay. But I don't do that because I live in Mexico City. Pollution is really bad. Mm -hmm. So when we take the when I take the the glue dot off of the pen yeah it will most of the times be just w too uh dirty oh man huh i know i know okay. that's not good <laughs> no it's not good <laughs> really and i've been doing a renovation in my apartment it's really dusty still mm -hmm. and that is also going to stick in the, into the glue dots gotcha. so yeah. here we have the original um, uh, everlasting tip uh, mm -hmm. with the glue dot. I will do the same thing. Go on the, ex the on the exterior or, or interior, interior side, yeah, yeah, just to try and push the glue dot in. <laughs> it's so fun when <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I can't wait till you get here so that you can load all my pens with glue dots although i really mostly just use the bella tool now but i still it's it's nice to have the pens and change out like the different grips and stuff like that yeah so, i get so i get tired when i'm using my pens yeah because i have something that is called Kervain syndrome hmm. which means i lose the strength on my thumb oh. and it it hurts my my Wrist. Wrist. Yeah. So if I change the the grips, mm -hmm. it gets more comfortable, and I don't have to like rest. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. I didn't bring the the pens that I use that I'm using right now. Mm -hmm. Those those take like a, a whole glue dot without a problem. Ah. These are not. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going on the <laughs> They are acting out. Yeah. Okay. So I have a little bit of residue, not as much as with Extra. the other one. Yeah. I will cut it with the, with the scissors, just leaving a little bit of excess because you want to protect your, your drills. So can you yes. use that excess? Yes, you can. Okay. Actually, I am going to use it to fill up a cut ear. Cut ear. Yeah. So it's going in. And... No, this is not no. a cut ear. No, this one doesn't yeah. miss. Okay. Yeah, that's a cut ear. Thank you. You're welcome. There you go. It's in. Oh, yeah. You have it's enough. enough. You don't have to cut anything off. Huh. All right. Try it. Try this one. Mm -hmm. It's not going to sound as much because it's... Yeah. There you go. But it's working. Yeah, it's working. That's that's what I would say. It's, ah, it came out. <laughs> it came out. Okay. So what do you do when it comes out? Just shove it in. Okay. Shove it back shove in. It, back it, in. It, it usually it usually uh, has to do with the residue you have in. Okay. Or maybe it's not completely like pushed in. Okay. Onto the bottom, but that's what you will do. You you will eventually it will it will stay. Okay. And you use so. 
when you cut it down like that, that was almost like it got to the micro dots size, mm, right? No. Cutting it, micro dots are a little bit more. Yeah. My, f to do the same thing, I will use two micro dots. Okay. So let me get another cut ear. I'm going to use this. Yeah. It's my new pen from Donabas. Yay. I love it. Yeah. Okay. This, this one has no, has no rings. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is another, another trick that I, I will use a lot when I have like loose tips on my pens or when I have them being way too stubborn to get in, mm -hmm. like, yeah. yeah, I will use something that is called plumber's tape. So it's like a two-on-one video, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you also get to find out about plumber's tape. Okay, plumber's tape. The difference with it, with the difference between washi tape and plumber's tape, is that plumber's tape doesn't have any sticky. It won't stick to anything. Mm. It's really, really thin, yes. and it's soft. Oh, yeah. it's silky. Oh, wow. Huh. So. What I will do is I take take a little piece of uh, painter's tape, the with painter's tape, plumber's. plumber's tape. I will cut it in half with a little bit of help oh. with the yeah. help from the handy scissors, and I will do the same thing that you do with the with the washi tape. Another advantage of using this plumber's tape. Mm -hmm. is that it won't leave any sticky residue in your pen or in the tip. Oh, that's good, yeah, because washi tape always like it's it's nasty. Of residue. <laughs> and it's white, yeah. so, and that way you can... Oh, look at that, yeah. And it's, yeah, it's, it's nice. there. Is it easy to get it out? Of course. Look, yeah. It's easier than having... Oh, there we go. Yeah, look at that. You don't have to struggle so much. Oh, wow. Okay. I like it. I love it. <laughs> so you, so it comes and it looks like it's that size or was it's that size. Done? Okay. It's this size. It's, and it's, then you cut it in half. I cut it in half, okay. but you don't have to cut it all the way. If you, okay. if you, if you just cut a little bit with the, with the scissors uh -huh. and then you pull it like you, you do this. Yeah. Okay. Like, so you have like a little slit uh, and, and then, then you can pull, on it. pull it. Oh, look at that. Yeah. And since it doesn't stick mm -hmm. to other thing, uh, other than the itself, itself, yeah, it's really easy to use. It won't leave any nice. residue. It's nice. Learn something new every day. <laughs> so this is a cut ear, and we'll oh, here. Uh, we'll going. We are going to use the micro dots. And here, what you will need is your handy dandy tweezers. Yeah, and let me show you what the size is. I'm only going to use two, so I'm cutting them. Okay. okay. This is the size. Let me show you. Mm, it's okay. there. Yeah. There. Okay. There it is. Just won't focus entirely. Yeah. There. There you go. Can you yeah, see you can the see difference in color? Like they are a little bit like, maybe a little bit yellowish. Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Yeah. If you can see it, this, these are very small. So what you will do is pinch them, take them out. I will like make a, a little, uh, uh -huh, a little ball mm -hmm. in the, in the tip without mm -hmm. letting it go. Yeah. And I will just push it in, hold it with my thumb, nice. one in yeah. and glue, glue that number two. Make a little ball, push it in with my thumb, push it with my tweezers, and it's done. Oh, there. look at that. Huh. It even really, it doesn't have that much extra anything either. No. Two. Oh. So two in the cat aired ones. Mm -hmm. Is there other ones that are similar in like depth of the cat eared ones or mostly just if you these ones? No, most of the of the people that are making this mm -hmm. kind of tips. It's the yeah. It's the same. Okay. It's not as deep as the BFFs. BFFs, yeah. Okay. BFFs are very deep. And gotcha. I actually like deeper because these have like a longer 
a longer tip mm -hmm. and I like longer tips okay so for placing I would I would use these ones uh, but now I will use the micro dots to load a deeper um, tip okay so we're going to use a BFF the one I just used. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> that's so fun. There you go. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. Mm -hmm. so fun, you guys. Yeah. There. Easy to pull in. And I'm not going to take it out of the plumber seat. Yeah, I'm not going But with this one, I may need more glue dots. So I'm not going to cut them. I take, I pinch them with the with the tweezers, shove them in, and hold them. And I do that as many times as I need until I get my pen filled. Like so. Two. So fun. Three, and maybe that's enough. Take another one. I'm gonna shove it. I'm gonna push it in so I know that no, it needs another one. And that's the micro dots. It's the micro dots mm -hmm. with the BFF, which is as long and as deep as the everlasting tip. Oh, okay, good. So would you suggest using the micro tips or not using the micro tips and using the mini no. dots? You can use whatever makes okay. sense to you. Like you, you can see which which tips you have mm -hmm. and work with those. I do think that micro dots are more. Um, how do you say when, when you can use it for versatile? Yeah. Okay. They, these are more versatile than mine. Gotcha. But I can't get these in Mexico. They are way expensive. Ah. And oh, these so are really you're gonna, cheap. You're gonna take these home with you. They're gonna like disappear from. From the house. What are we talking about? <laughs> exactly. It's fine. I can get more. Amazon's readily available. I'm, I'm good with my micros, with my minis. And there's 325 in here, too. And so. the package that I got from, the, the last package I got from for, for the minis uh -huh. is 600. Holy crap. Yeah, that's a lot. No, that's less. I, I don't. I don't. I don't actually need too many. Not right and now. since I load many pens at once, mm -hmm. whenever I have some residue, because I cut it, I can mm -hmm. use it. In oh pens. yes, that's right. So there. Gotcha. So it has just, and you leave it to where it has like the little tiny cone. Yeah, kind of, so that it's a little bit of extra. Mm -hmm. Don't. Stick I like to have a little bit of extra, but if it's bothering you, you just you just have to take Cut it off. the the the. Scissors and cut it off. There you go. That's the clicking that you like. Oh my god, <laughs> that's so fun, you guys. So I already showed you how to use the use it for all of the pens. We're only missing one pen, and this is the square one. I don't have one of these. This is Nicole's. It? Yeah. So you from Amazon. She's gonna try it and see if she can load it. Oh uh, yeah. This is the first time that I see one in person, so <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. You can do it. And I will use the micros because I don't know how... I think it's shallow. Yeah, it's yeah I do think deep. it's shallow too, so maybe using the micros will be better, yeah. Okay. Take the dot, make a little ball, stick it in, hold it. Um, and you got a few pins that were delivered from Donna Bass. So she's like, I have to load the pins. And I'm like, you got to load mine too. And I was like, <laughs> oh yeah, we got to do a video too. So that other people can see it. Because I've been saying we're going to do it when you got here. And so here I, we are. I am going to fix. Nicole was complaining that her tips got a little bit loose. Yeah. So I am going to fix that with a plumber's tape. Nice. Two. So, so what happens? Okay, so you explained this to me the other day. So it's on there, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to put it on, but it won't. Oh, now it's gonna come off. But it <laughs> won't really come off. So you said to press down an angle, correct? Uh huh. Press on an angle and maybe wiggle it a little bit, and then okay. it will come out. Okay. Because I was like, I tried to stick it on like a couple different places, and it doesn't work. And then you just said to 
press down. Mm -hmm. Of course it's going to work now that I'm actually trying to show <laughs> what I was talking about. It's like Jamie when I'm like, hey, this technology thing isn't working. And then he walks up and it starts working. And I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> like it hasn't worked for like 10 minutes. And I finally say something to you. Okay. So get this square tip took three. Okay. So it's a little deeper than I thought it was. Then. Yeah. Okay. Let's try that. Don't have squares, but it's fine. It'll work for squares and rounds. Let's see. There it is. There you go. Love that <laughs> All right, so you gotta load up all the pins, the pins that you got, and then the one in the Bella Miner. Oh, yeah, the Bella Miner. Gotta do those. And then the, what is it called? Plumber's tape? Yeah, plumber's, plumber's tape. Plumber's tape and yeah. some of those. It so. comes in a roll, like if it was like um, scotch tape roll, uh -huh. but it has like a, a cap. Or something. Okay. So it, <coughs> so it doesn't get like on bolt and you lose it because if it goes, it goes. It's right, still it so silky yeah. that it, it, it will go. Gotcha. So it has a little cap and it come it comes in a in a little a little roll. Okay. And then you just take a little off. Of and it. it's really cheap. It's cheaper than 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 scotch tape. tape and wash wash tape. Yeah, wash the tape could get expensive. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. So, so yeah, so there we go. So we got all the ones. So this is like the brass tip and it has a little bit sticking out so that it'll catch the drill. And if it's sticking too far out, that's catching like more than one drill, then you could just kind of like clip it off, right? Yeah. 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 And you could probably use what, like fingernail clippers or something? Yeah. You could of... use the, the scissors, fingernail clippers. You can use, you, you can also like scratch the, the surface the surface yeah. you can use the plastic of the of the thing i i, I will use the res the yeah the plastic thingy that the, the glue dots come in mm -hmm. the minis come with all, with that because they come in a sheet yeah and these come in a roll oh, so okay. these don't have that plastic oh the plastic cover yeah this little but, it right here right there okay yeah. so what i will do is it's I, hard to find it clear <laughs> yeah so i will use this is this is why the the texture of the lid m makes sense mm -hmm. to me. I, I use the 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 lids, and it's our lids. Other ones might not have that texture. Yeah. Not quite sure, but they actually uh, might. Have printing. It. Yeah. it depends, but yeah. So what I will do if I have a lot of residue is I will press really uh, straight mm -hmm. down, and I will just try to wiggle my pen mm. and use the without pushing so hard because what you want is to um separate okay. the residue from the from the tip yeah not scratch your trailer your trailer so what i will do and that's why you have the plastic mm -hmm. under there so what i will do is i will wiggle it a little bit and then it will come oh out. look at that you understand now why I always <laughs> ask for the scratch and then yeah she's like I need lids and I was like without trays <laughs> yes like, without, without trays. trays but yeah so now you can see it maybe it doesn't show very well but you can see that maybe it doesn't have um where it cones out as much and so then it won't catch like two drills on it yes that it was will... my problem because it kept like coning and then I catch like three drills trying to put it on the Diamond painting. I have three drills everywhere. I'm well, now, now you know. <laughs> now and I know. You can also use the plastic from the canvas. You can oh, cut so a yeah. little corner of it. Yeah, and use it. Okay. Or if you like, be, because you will ha you will have them. If you have an old lid, mm -hmm. you can use it without the plastic. Yeah, it catches all stuff. Huh? See, mm -hmm. she uses this to where you put the blue wax here and then you do the multi-placers on it right yeah and then i scratch the i scratch the the residue i think yeah those aren't loaded yeah these are not loaded okay what i will she has a bella bella wheel now bella tool i have two, <laughs> two you guys two. i have two because this was a uh, this uh, this was a mistake it yeah, doesn't have a magnet. magnet yeah so they were going to throw it out and i was like no 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 <laughs> hold wait, on wait wait I'll, I, I'll take it i'll take it <laughs> so what i will do is i will load from the from the corner not straight in uh-huh to give it a chance to 
get the it. air out. Yeah, so it actually oh. takes all the wax in. I got gotcha. Some of the times what I will do is leave like a little corner mm -hmm. without the wax. And that's where the air can escape. Uh -huh. I had no idea that was a thing. Air? <laughs> I mean, yeah, air, but like air in the thing and air, uh, whatever. Yeah, it's, it, fine. it's it, science. <laughs> yeah, so I will do it a couple of times to make sure that it's completely loaded. And when it is, it, it will have like a lot of residue. Mm -hmm. And I will just like scrape it mm -hmm. because I don't like to scrape it with my hands. I, yeah. For some reason, I just can't. The texture. Yeah, the texture. Yes. That's it. that. It's huh. really straight. It Air's way help. prettier than when I do mine. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my bell tool? I probably just not put that Here's your bell somewhere. tool. Oh, it's Here's not mine. Bell tool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yours is definitely like a lot straighter and like all in there and stuff. Yeah, look, I got like holes. Yeah, you won't be able to see it, but I got little holes in there. <laughs> and it will work with watch not your mama spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it will work with whatever the uh, wax, right? what, what, the whatever wax. wax you have. Yeah. So I'm trying to convince Jamie to design something that is like this. <laughs> it's not it's not getting in, but maybe maybe now it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> so so that's what I do with my multiplacers. Okay. Gotcha. And uh, yeah, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Like We're gonna see. So pretty. So I'm gonna continue loading all the pans. Yay. You don't have to be here for that. <laughs> you already saw how I use a plumber's tape, yep. how I load my pens with minis and micros, yep. and different the tips. different tips. Yeah. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments. I will try to come on and answer all the questions you have. So, well, thank you. This is very informative. I learned like all kinds of things now. <laughs> well, this is the time when you do the thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. So, like, Give a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, hit the bell, which is somewhere in the corner around. I don't know. It's around there somewhere. And yeah. you'll be notified when we do videos like this. And thank you, Tanya, for giving us a you are welcome. informative. You're very welcome. Glue dots. <laughs> Tutorial. <laughs> yeah. Everything. All kinds of things. You got a lot of things in this video. So let us know if you, you know, hit that thumbs up if you liked it. And then uh, leave us any comments. So thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.